A Tampa unsolved murder from 2007 is the sad story of one woman who led two very different lives. The body of Tracy McClellan was found in a shallow grave behind a Tampa business in 2007. Her killer has never been found. As News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson reports tonight, she was an intelligent young mother of three with a possible dark side. It's a complicated puzzle involving the life of Tracy McClellan. March 6, 2007, workers at a sweeper business make a disturbing discovery in the back of their parking lot off of North 71st Street in Tampa. They found a shallow grave with human remains. Lisa Whidden learned of the discovery on the news and soon feared it might be her sister, Tracy McClellan. She didn't come to the hospital, so I knew uh, something was wrong. Lisa had just given birth to her son, but Tracy wasn't there for the birth. Tampa homicide detectives went to work at the shallow grave. There were probably five or six of us. I think the whole squad initially went out on it. Detectives soon confirmed the worst fears of Tracy McClellan's family, identifying the body found here as the 36-year-old missing mother of three. We grew up very grounded. Um, we weren't wealthy at all. My parents worked very hard. The murder devastated Tracy's family. Tracy's mother, who now lives in North Carolina, told me that Tracy started off life with much in her favor. As a small child, she was just a nor normal, normal kid. She went to uh, private school, daycare. In high school, Tracy made good grades and easily made friends. She also received um, Best Dressed Award in high school in the yearbook. She went to USF and was a semester away from earning a teaching degree. Then tragedy hit the family when Tracy's brother committed suicide. She felt that at that point, she was the last person that had the opportunity to save him. Tracy spiraled into depression, sought help, but then started self-medicating to deal with the pain. I think she was struggling and she was masking, trying to mask the pain with prescription drugs. Tracy's family believes she became an early victim of the opioid crisis. And at some point, the depression and addiction took over her life. She knew she, she was struggling. And as much as you wanted to, you couldn't pull her out of that world. No, we could not save her from that world. Tracy tried to maintain her two lives, going to school, raising three children, but she was arrested numerous times on drugs and prostitution charges. Even after her death, Tampa homicide detectives couldn't find anyone who had a bad thing to say about her. We didn't run into where she had issues with anybody, really. Everybody kind of got along with her or liked her. Detectives interviewed employees from the businesses around where Tracy's body was found. They interviewed her friends and family, and even people from the illegal world of drugs. I know that this case particularly, um, even though it started out with a lot, it's narrowed down to quite a few, uh, just, just several people really we would be looking at in this. The Tampa Police Department has sent in samples for DNA testing from the evidence found at the murder scene. They have theories, but need someone to come forward to help pull all of the pieces of the puzzle together. If there's anybody out there that knew anything about any conflict she was having or any problems she had with anybody, any leads are going to help me. Detective Gary Sandell was one of the first homicide detectives on scene when Tracy's body was found. He was new to the homicide team at the time, and Detective Sand Sandell maintains these cases are never forgotten, but now because of our interest in this case, he's taking a fresh look at everything, and hopefully this will help bring closure to this family. You know, these cold cases, you absolutely have to stay on them and, and bring them back to top of mind, and that's exactly what you're doing. Advances in DNA technology are astounding, and they've solved crimes across the country, and maybe they can help solve this one. Well, on a related note tonight, thank you, Jeff, by the way. Uh, 